Either follows. Okay, so in this episode, I suggest we go a bit technical. Here's the idea. As of recently, we've seen this quite a lot. Hell, we've even tried it out. So they sell this glue, which is called Moment. It's a sort of crazy glue that's super quick to cure. And some people add baking soda to it to make it stick even better and faster. With some degree of success, apparently. To the point where you can even patch up metal and nobody would notice after you apply a bit of paint. Anyway, so here's what we want to do. We want to try and take a few modern products and test them to see how durable they are. Check how they cope with temperature. So yeah, we've got an engine, it starts and it runs adequately, I guess, though there is an idle issue that we can't get to the bottom of. That said, when you up the revs, it works just fine. And so the idea is to remove the pistons, we're gonna pull them out, and imitate, make holes in them, basically. Artificially make craters like you'd get if they were burned through. One of them we'll do up with super glue and baking soda. Then we put everything back together, start the car, and... Uh, then we should go out and do some hard driving, see how the engine works, and which material holds up, and which one doesn't. We'll tear the motor down and have a look. Okay, well, let's make some holes. Do them up, assemble the engine, and see what happens. Let's do this. Piston repair using JB Weld and super glue. will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, guys. We've taken the engine apart. Here we have the pistons, which we have mutilated, imitating burn holes. Though instead of drilling, we decided to use a TIG welding torch to do this. And that gave us a pretty good result. Look at these burns. Moving along. Here we have this super glue. Also, we have some epoxy and a cold weld compound. The latter is heat resistant, which should prevent it from immediately burning to a crisp. So we're going to be doing a comparison test. We'll actually weld one piston and plug the rest of them. Then we assemble the motor, and whatever happens, happens. Let's get to it. Here's what we're looking at. It's all coming together nicely. One piston we welded, the second we applied super glue with baking soda too. Here we have the epoxy, and this is the JB weld, which is supposed to be heat resistant. Now we just have to let them sit for a while, for everything to cure properly. I mean, it might not even take too long. In any case, most glues Say on the package that it takes 24 hours for them to fully dry. Whatever, we'll let them sit. After a while, the sober glue... <laughs> anyway, give them some time and they'll cure, at which point we begin assembly. Okay, we wait, but you're about to see the assembly process begin.
All right, the motor is in there. As for the pistons, you could say we got them repaired, each one in different ways, but it is what it is. And now we begin the testing. You may start the engine. It runs! Tremendous! Doesn't sound good. Switch it off. So the engine pissed out a bit of oil, but no biggie. Now everything is fixed and we should be good to go. Okay, let's try firing it up without using a jumper pack. Excellent. It started all right. It's running just like it was before. So far, so good. The pistons are doing their thing. And that's nice. Okay, well... First drive on the repaired pistons. I also suspect it'll be the last. It is moving along nicely, I can tell you that much. We are hauling. Very nice. I thought I heard somebody say they'd break immediately. They did not. So far, everything seems to be holding up. Awesome. We'll find that out a bit later. Oh, what's wrong? I see smoke. Oh, that's the crankcase ventilation. Do we have a hole in one of the pistons? Oh my. Yeah, that is quite a bit of smoke. And we're down on power. Only three of the cylinders are firing. I gotta make my way back to base pronto. Okay, and now it's coughing. Something is seriously wrong. How did it get into the cabin? Also, the smell is pretty... It's weird. I think I smell oil, but there's also a hint of sweetness. Like when you're burning antifreeze. Coolant also gives you this sweet smell, but we don't have any in there. We filled the cooling system with water. Another cylinder down. Or maybe not. No, I think it is running on two. Come on, close. I have driven pretty far, though. Is it gonna start? Come on. Come on now. Doesn't want to. 
Screw it, I've got a spare. Come on, you've got this. It is a lot of... A lot of blow by Sergei. Oh, holy cow. How many cylinders do you think it's running on? How many cylinders do you think still work? I have no idea. No idea? Sounds like three, could be two. I think it's two, maybe even one. Here we go. Don't give me that look or I'll take your Hummer. I need all the windows down. I can now smell gasoline in here. It's not even a smell. It reeks in here. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, what gives? And that's a wrap. Oh my goodness. I need some input from a mechanic. Where you at? Get over here. Why didn't you tell me the breather was spitting oil? Take a look at this. I couldn't see because of all the smoke. Holy cow, man. It just died on me. Say what? Is that from the breather tube? Indeed it is. There was so much smoke. Yeah, and the cabin was such a nice place to be. Let's try push starting it. Put it into some gear. No, 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 no. Ain't having it. That's it. The car sounds like it's running on one cylinder. Well, guys, you saw what happened. We are left with just one cylinder that is still functional. I suspect it's the one where we welded the piston. Okay, so while all of it is still piping hot, we might as well tear it apart and have a look. Well, guys, we took the engine apart which actually happened yesterday. What we saw upset us, and we decided to go home. Okay, so let me run you through it all. We have four pistons, which had holes burned through them, which we tried fixing. But here's what happened. The engine was able to idle here inside the garage for about 10 minutes. Then I went out for a drive around the complex, and immediately one of the cylinders gave up, followed by another one and another one. At the end of the day, every product we used, doesn't matter if it was the JB Weld, the Poxy Paul brand epoxy glue, or the super glue with baking soda, everything was burned to a crisp. None of them survived. The TIG weld held up okay, though, unsurprisingly. That piston looks great, actually. I don't see any evidence at all that it was headed towards failure. Anything close to a burn hole forming, it stood the test beautifully. And so where does this leave us, then? You only really have one option. If by some miracle one of your pistons got charred, 
Welding is your only friend. Unfortunately, none of the other methods are good for anything. Perhaps if we tried a nut and a bolt? No, that's just sacrilege. <laughs> just weld it. Now, we were hoping that at least one of these methods would work, but the only thing that did was welding. Hey, well, now we know that you can't use a booger to plug a hole in a piston. Okay, you can plainly see the results of the experiment. Maybe you know of some other methods of fixing burn holes in pistons? Please share, we'll give them a try. And that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.